So the weighted mean of the n numbers x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 up to x sub n with the respective assigned weights w sub 1, w sub 2, w sub 3 up to w sub n is uh, this formula. So itong nasa numerator natin. That is the sum of the products formed by multiplying each number by its assigned weight. And itong denominator naman natin is the sum of all weights. For example, so many colleges use the four-point grading system. For A, so kapag yung grade mo ay A, that is equivalent for 4, B, 3, C, 2, D, 1, at F is equal to 0. So, find the grade point average of the Leon's grades in this given semester course grade. So, ito yung apat na subject na tinitake ni De Leon's. So, sa English, meron siyang B with 4 units. Sa History, nakakuha siya ng grade na A with 3 units. And for Chemistry, meron siyang grade na D with 3 units. And for Algebra, meron siyang C with 4 units. So, ngayon, kukunin natin yung grade point average niya. So, paano gagawin? Using the formula kanina, so, imumultiply lang natin no, yung x times w. So, your x here is the grade. So, kunin natin yung corresponding value ng b. And that is 3 times the units, which is 4. So, 3 times 4 plus, and then yung a natin, that is 4. 4 times 3 plus yung D natin is 1, so 1 times 3 plus yung C natin is 2, that is 2 times 4, all over yung total nung uh, weights natin o yung units, and that is 14. So, if we're going to multiply and add, this is 35, okay? Kasi ito 12 plus 12 plus 3 plus 8, so this is 35, divide 14, and that is 2.5. Ibig sabihin, yung grade point average ni Dillion for the given semester is 2.5. Okay, another example. So, this is a, a problem. Okay, so from the level of attention during online classes. So, research to ng student ko last school year. Uh, yung, uh, research ng Yums student ko no? last school year 2020-2021 so yung topic nila is about the level of attention during online classes so paano natin kukunin yung weighted mean and descriptions so meron, ta meron akong kinuhang 5 statements dun sa uh, lesson nila or dun sa study nila at ito yung distribution ng respondents Okay, so meron silang 50 respondents and then meron, tayo, meron silang ginamit na rating scale na apat, four point scale na strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly disagree. So paano natin kukumputin yung weighted mean ng uh, limang statements? Okay, so isa-isahin natin and then lagyan natin nung kung paano nila uh, in-analyze yung bawat data. Okay, for first statement, sabi nila, okay, ito yung unang statement. Do you think the speed of internet connection affects your focus during online class? So, sa, uh, merong sumagot na 34 sa so strongly agree, 12 naman sa agree, at 4 sa disagree. So, walang sumagot sa si strongly disagree. So, ito yung ginamit nila na rating scale. Okay, from 0 0.01 to 1, that is strongly disagree. From 1.01 to 2, that is disagree. From 2.01 to 3, that is agree. And 3.01 to 4, strongly agree. So, by using the formula of weighted mean, so yung, ang gagawin nyo lang naman, yung multiply nyo ito doon sa value ng uh, scale natin. So, 34 times 4 plus 12 times 3 plus 4 times 2 plus 0 times 1 kasi wala naman, no? all over 50. And that is, so if we're going to uh, simplify this, this 136, 12 times 2 is 36, 4 times 2 is 8. So ito hindi na kasi 0 na. 
and that is 136 plus 36 plus 8 the answer is 180 divide 50 so the weighted mean is 3.6 so kung pagbabasihan natin yung scale natin ano yung magiging description natin ng 3.6 so ang weighted mean natin dito is 3.6 so pasok siya sa strongly agree so yung first statement lumalabas na strongly agree so sabi nila that uh, this table shows that the student's responses about how the speed of internet connection affects their focus during an online class. 34 out of 50 strongly agreed that te uh, technical issues affect their focus online, which is equal to 68%. While 12 out of 50 students or 24% agree, while 4 students or 8% of them disagree. This explicitly shows that technical issues had been one of the hardest problem a student encountered. So, having techni uh, technical issues while having online classes, as stated, can definitely affect the attention of a student. For their statement number two, so if you have health problems, can you still attend your online classes attentively? So, merong anim na sumagot na strongly agree, 19 naman sa agree, and 24 sa disagree. So, at isa na nag-strongly disagree. So, yun pa din yung scale na gagamitin natin. And then, for weighted mean, so 6 times 4 plus 19 times 3 plus 24 times 2 plus 1 times 1. All over 50. So, that is 24 plus 57 plus 48 plus 1, and that is 130. 130 divide 50, so the weighted mean is 2.6. And 2.6, I under what? Okay, agree. So the description is agree. So ano sabi dito? As stated in table number 2, 48% of the students or 24 students disagree that health problems can make them attend and listen to their online classes attentively. So, 38% or 19 students said that they can still attend their classes even if they have health problems, while 12% or 6 students strongly agree and 2% of the students strongly disagree. So, the results of the answer clearly indicated that a student cannot attend uh, attain full focus which he or she is having a uh, health problems so this can cause another stress and lack of motivation which can lead to other issues and for statement number three does changing from tradition classroom and face-to-face -face learning to computer-based training in a virtual classroom make it harder for you to listen in online classes so, merong 27 na sumagot na strongly agree, 14 sa agree, 5 na disagree, at 4 na strongly disagree. So, that is 27 times 4 plus 14 times 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 4 times 1. And that is 108 plus 42 plus 10 plus 4. And that is 164 divide 50. So, the weighted mean is 3.28. So, si 3.28 ay nasa strongly agree. So, table 3 states that 54% or 27 of students makes it harder for them to listen in online classes. Changing from traditional classroom and face-to-face -face learning to computer-based training in a virtual classroom. So, 28% of 14 students agree on this and 10% disagree while 8% of them strongly disagree. So, table uh, 3 tells that the level of adaptability affects the focus of the respondents. So, majority of them told that they are having a hard time adjusting from the new normal unlike when classes are in the face-to-face. And for their statement number four, are you tech savvy and can use computers or mobile phones properly during online classes? So, may sumagot na 14 for sa strongly agree, 
29 naman sa agree, 6 sa disagree, and 1 for strongly disagree. So, for weighted mean, 14 times 4 plus 29 times 3 plus 6 times 2 plus 1 times 1 all over 50. So, 56 plus 87 plus 12 plus 1 divide 50 and 156 divide 50, the answer is 3.12. So, 3.12 is under what? Strongly agree. So, table 4 shows that more than half of the students or 58% or 29 students agreed that there are tech savvy uh, and can use computer or mobile phones properly during online classes. This means that they are able to use gadgets properly in doing school related stops. So, 28% of the students strongly agree on this. 12% are disagree while 2% strongly disagreed. Based on the table, being knowledgeable on different devices can listen the focus of the students too. Since not all of the students can be able to use the technology well, so they have having a hard time. So this result to decreasing of focus. And for statement number five, does your time management ability affect your focus on online classes? So may sumagot na 15 sa strongly agree, 23 naman sa agree, 11 sa disagree, and 1 sa strongly disagree. So using the weighted mean formula, so 15 times 4 plus 23 times 3 plus 11 times 2 plus 1 times 1. So that is 60 plus 69 plus 22 plus 1. So, the answer is 152 divide 50. So, the weighted mean is 3.04. So, 3.04, I under strongly agree. So, as shown in table 5, 46% of students, which is a total of 23, agreed that their time management ability affects their focus in their online classes. So, 30% strongly agree. Or 22% of the students disagree while 2% strongly disagreed. As shown in the table above, time management ability affects the focus of the respondents. It is reported that lacking time management may result to workloads and eventually decreases the focus of doing other school-related stuff. So, to summarize, okay, so may kita natin, no? Uh, na halos lahat strongly agree yung lumabas sa, ano nila, sa study nila. So, ganyan natin gamitin yung weighted mean para i-analyze natin yung data na na-collect natin.